My name's Paul Fenton. Uh, I'm a second year diagnostic radiography student at Salford University. Uh, I'm a mature student and I've got two kids at home as well. Uh, before I started radiographer training, I used to work in the multimedia industry as a video editor. Um, and it was a good job and I liked it a lot, but unfortunately it involved a lot of travel. Uh, and as I've gotten older and I've started my own family, I decided that that kind of travel just wasn't compatible with a family life. Um, so I decided to look around for a new type of career. Uh, but I wanted to do something where I could transfer skills that I already had and develop them. Uh, so I started looking around and just quite by coincidence really, I'd injured my knee. Uh, and I was looking on the internet um, on knee injuries and so forth um, and I ended up on a med medical imaging website um, and something clicked then I thought oh, perhaps radiography would be something where I could take the skills I have and develop them in a completely different area. I really like kind of playing with the equipment, messing around with things um, and using computers a lot uh, so this kind of career offers a lot of those kind of things to me. Previously, in my other career, uh, I was using images to sort of tell stories and get information across. Uh, with radiography, I'm using images, but just in a different way, really. Uh, now, what I'm doing is uh, I'm using images to try and get answers uh, to questions that the doctors are asking. Uh, and in doing so, hopefully, I'm helping to get people on the way to recovery. In terms of the sort of resources they have available, you have things like all oh, your lecture notes are available online so you can go and refer to those as and when you need to. A typical day for me uh, would be getting the kids dressed and off to nursery uh, before coming into university. Once we're in here, uh, depending on what the schedule is for the day, we might have a couple of lectures or something. We get split up into what's called problem-based learning groups and that's where we'll sit around and consider the various issues uh, that we're, we're covering at the moment. Somebody made a comment about you and some of us might even give presentations, for example, on something that they found to be particularly interesting. I might then go off to the library and do some research as well. You can sit down and do your own work, or there's even group areas as well. Uh, so once that's all done, so I head off home with a bag full of books. You do have to be well prepared, you have to be well motivated uh, and you have to sort of set your own timetable and do your own work and motivate yourself really um, because at the end of the day you only get out what you put in.